All right, this is a tutorial for Happy Cyborg. Happy Cyborg allows you to upload your personality to the cloud as a Twitter cyborg. So here's the description here. Um, let's go ahead and get started. You'll see that there are five steps. First, you log in using your Google account. I just used Google because it was easy to program. Um, you put in your Twitter screen name. You give uh, Twitter permission for your cyborg to act on your behalf. You upload your personality and specify what the cyborg should do. And then you start the cyborg. So if we log in, then uh, I had already set the screen name. The screen name is Happy Cyborg. I had already given it permission. And uh, when you give it permission, you just click over and uh, say, yeah, um, cyborg can act on my behalf. It can do this, this, and this, and then come back. Um, and, but don't worry, you tell everything the cyborg should do here on this step. So here on this setup cyborg step, you specify the behaviors of the cyborg. It's organized by behavior, so it's responding, following, tweeting, favoriting, unfollowing, listing, and retweeting. So this, this gives you total control. You control what the cyborg does. And so here for responding, so what responding is, is a way for the cyborg to start conversations. Um, so it's a cyborg, it's not a bot, so it doesn't have conversations on its own, but it will reply to people in the way that you would reply. I, for example, find myself saying the same responses um, to the same stimuli over and over again, and so the cyborg can help you automate this. So you check it here, um, you enter in any bad words that you want to make sure the cyborg uh, doesn't talk to anyone when they use these words. And then here you set your response patterns. And so what you have here is there's a big description here. You have two different ways to put in your response patterns. And so here I just used a text box with the dash dash greater than sign. And so the first one says, if someone mentions Stephen King, then uh, the cyborg will say, love how Stephen King got the following advice on editing. Um, if someone mentions the movie Idiocracy, it responds, I love that movie. My favorite scene is when they first gaze upon Costco. And then if someone then responds to that, then you can take over and, and, and continue with the conversation. So the cyborg has essentially found someone who shares one of your interests and then puts you together. Um, okay, so you put these stuff in. Um, then you can set up the following behavior. So it can follow people based on your searches. So you can perform... The cyborg will search Twitter for tweets that um, match your interests. Then it will go through each person that uh, that authored those tweets and see if that person is a good person for you to follow based on your interests. So what you do is, to determine if the cyborg should follow someone when it finds an interesting tweet, is you give it a set of term values. And so... Um, you, you enter in your interest with a numerical score and it adds up all of those terms in the tweet and the it goes and reads the profile of the person. And if the, the tweet and the profile both sum to 10, which is just an arbitrary threshold, then the cyborg will follow that person if it's never followed that person before. And the tweet and bio don't contain any of the bad words you specified previously. Okay, and then you can also follow people who mention you. And third, you can follow everyone a particular user follows. So in this case, if they, if a particular user has uh, follows a bunch of people that you're interested in, uh, move in your space, then you can put that person's uh, screen name in without the ampersand or the at sign, without the at sign, and then um, it will follow. All of those people, but not all at once. It will follow a few. So the cyborg has a sweet uh, sleep-wake cycle, just like you and I, except it sleeps for only two minutes. It gets up, and then each of those cycles is like a day or an iteration. And then after so many iterations, it will follow whoever's in the queue some number, and that number is here. So in this case, uh, the cyborg will follow four people every two hours out of this queue that you specified based on whoever that person follows. And it keeps doing that until the queue is empty. Okay, so we've done responding and following. Now for tweeting, um, you can upload your tweets and it will, whatever tweets you want the cyborg to tweet, and it'll tweet one tweet every uh, couple hours. So in this case, I've uploaded 
uh, my tweets, cats don't like to wrestle, a bunch of tweets that I had on my primary account. I now want to uh, have the cyborg use those and kind of simulate uh, my personality. And going back to setting up, we've done responding, following, tweeting. Now we go to favoriting. So the cyborg can favorite any tweet that mentions you. It can also favorite tweets based on the text you upload. So this is probably the most sophisticated part of the cyborg with respect to machine learning. So what it does is it allows you to upload a bunch of text. Uh, in one case, I uploaded my book. Uh, here, it looks like I just uploaded a bunch of my tweets again, and then the cyborg reads all those tweets and learns your interest. And then it reads your, after it's learned your interest, it reads your um, timeline, and any tweet on a timeline that matches your interest, it favorites. And, and the benefit of this is the person who has their tweet favorited knows that you share that person's interest because their tweet has been favored. And in addition, you can use this as a filtering mechanism to find of all the tweets in your timeline only the ones that will apply to you and and cyborg does this by reading your your text and finding out what things you're interested in and how you talk about those things and it tries to find uh similar things based on that okay now we did tweeting favoriting unfollowing the cyborg uh can unfollow people who don't follow you back after a certain number of days. In this case, it will if I follow someone or decide to follow someone within five days, that person does not follow back, it unfollows. Um, but you can also set a list of people to never unfollow, so regardless of whether they follow you back or not. And listing. So the cyborg adds anyone who, optionally here, you can check the checkbox, the cyborg adds anyone who interacts with you to a public list. And the benefit of this is that that person can then know that um, you're, you are having them in a list and people like to be listed. It gives them warm fuzzies. In addition, it allows you to focus in on the people who are interacting with you. And so you can have them all in one place. Okay. And now retweeting. You can also have the cyborg retweet. So in this case, the phrase, you could do worse than the curiosity cycle. The curiosity cycle is my book, and if someone types this exact phrase, uh, modulo, upper, lower case, types in this exact phrase, in the Twitter it will uh, retweet that tweet with probability 1.0. So with, with retweets, you want to be a little careful. Retweets can be annoying. You don't want to uh, be retweeting all the time. Um, so I could have just written curiosity cycle, um, and it would retweet more. Um, in addition, you could put in a probability here. So if someone writes curiosity cycle and then it retweets with probability 0.6 or whatever. Same with users. If there's a particular user whose content you want to make sure that your followers see, you can retweet that user's tweets and each tweet will be retweeted with some probability that you specify here. Okay, so that's the setup. We go back now to getting started. Everything is green. We are now ready to start the cyborg. And so now the cyborg has gotten started. And so what we can do is we can manage it here, which is, corresponds to here, or we can go to the dashboard, which corresponds to here. So let's go to the dashboard. There we are. So now the cyborg is running. Um, we have, of the tweets I uploaded, the tweet, there's 169 remaining in the queue. I have a, a, a list of people I want to follow, and there's 636 remaining to follow. And so we see that uh, the cyborg, and you can see um, this cyborg has been running for a while. I just restarted it, but you can see it followed a bunch of people. Um, it posted a tweet. A couple hours ago, um, followed some people, um, unfollowed people who didn't follow the cyborg back. And so you can see everything the cyborg is doing um, right here. Optionally, or in addition, you can manage the cyborg. You can uh, stop it. So if you want to go in and change your parameters, you can stop at any time. Go change your parameters and restart it. You can also, if you want to unfollow in a one-off, or reset your response pattern. So the responses are interesting in that it will only respond a particular phrase once 
because it, let's say you had, you know, anytime someone mentioned Darth Vader and you could say, oh, that's my favorite character. You don't want it to be just saying that all over the internet because people are talking about Darth Vader all the time. All the time. So they'll just respond once until you come in here and reset it per response pattern. And so that ensures that the cyborg uh, speaks with a variety of things to say and doesn't just say the same thing over and over again. It will never say the same phrase to the same person, but if you wanted to use the same phrase to possibly a different person, then you come in here and reset the, the patterns. Now we stop the cyborg. If we want to go uh, get it started again, we just go back to getting started. Um, we come in here and start the cyborg. And so that is everything. Uh, I hope you like it. And uh, just email me if you find any bugs or have any questions.